You know, I have been going absolutely bonkers. The past two and a half hours has been absolute torture for me. I have not been able to calm down, and it's been overwhelming. I'm so overwhelmed and anxious and disappointed because... The stream that we were supposed to do for game number two against the Flyers got completely sabotaged by Streamlabs. Streamlabs put up a very unexpected update on Mac users that did not allow the software to open for people who hadn't updated their Mac OS. So this was a big problem. I ended up using the normal OBS software to stream. That sucked. It was glitching out. It wasn't good. So I had to re-download my OS for my Mac. And in the process of doing so, Streamlabs ended up working after, but my Final Cut Pro and my Photoshop were outdated with no ability to update. So I've been panicking for the past two and a half hours because first off, my stream wasn't working. That sucked. Then second off, my Final Cut Pro and Photoshop, which are two of the three main softwares I use to run my YouTube channel, stopped working too. So I've been scrambling for the past two hours just trying to get these softwares back, downloading it, and trying to install it. It's not working. Photoshop still isn't working for me. And the game is already over, and I'm still over here freaking out. You don't know how anxious I have been this entire afternoon. And not even a Habs win that was so, so good can placate my overall anxiety, disappointment, fear, nervousness, and dread that I'm feeling right now. In fact, I don't even know how I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video because Photoshop isn't working for me. I think I'm going to have to download GIMP or something like that. But because this is my duty, let's go ahead and talk about the Habs game against the Flyers. It's a 5-0 win. Wow. They scored five goals in this one. Four on Carter Hart and one on Brian Elliott. My goodness, did Carey Price have himself a night over here. It's a 30 save shutout for Carey Price. The Canadians are winning a game here on Shea Weber's birthday. Happy birthday, Shea Weber. And the Habs were also out here playing their hearts out for head coach Claude Julien, who had to get removed from the bubble because he had some chest pains. He had himself a very successful surgery, and the doctors are looking to expect a full recovery over here. So we are all going to pray for the good health and recovery of Claude Julien. But that leaves the Montreal Canadiens with a different bench boss. It's Kirk Muller stepping up for the head coach role, and all of a sudden, it's a different vibe out there on the ice. The Habs start this one off quickly. It's a goal a minute in from Thomas Tatar. This one's assisted by Nick Suzuki and Brendan Gallagher. Pretty much, the Habs just get it to the net, and Tatar stands there, puts the puck in on the rebound. That's his first goal of the postseason. And it's an early 1-0 lead for Montreal. They came out flying, buzzing in this one, just swarming the Philadelphia Flyers. They didn't even get a shot on goal against until the three-minute mark remaining in the first period. But before the Flyers had their first shot on goal, we had ourselves a... Jesperi Kotkaniemi goal again. Oh my goodness, this one's a very similar goal. A greasy one out in front. Drewan gets that one to the net. Kotkaniemi is there. He tries swinging away at it. It goes in through the five hole. It's 2-0 Montreal. They have zero shots against at this point, and everybody's kind of freaking out. No way. The Habs are the team that I had winning the Stanley Cup. That's what many people were saying on Twitter and on Reddit, on YouTube, etc., but, my gosh, the 24th best team in the NHL in the regular season just jumped up to a 2-0 lead, and they have zero shots against. How crazy is that? Then, wait until the second period, because here in the second period, it is a minute and 25 seconds in on the power play. Thomas Tatar, he's got confidence, he's got swagger, he comes in, he shoots that one far side on Carter Hart, who is screened off the post and in, baby. Oh my goodness, it's 3-0 Montreal, and it's all of a sudden looking like a crazy, crazy, crazy series. The Canadians at this point are proving everybody that they can compete that this team, under the right circumstances, under the right mojo, 
has the ability to actually do really, really well. It's a 3-0 lead against a team that many people thought to be the Stanley Cup favorites. And it doesn't even stop there because Yoel Armia, at the end of the second period, he throws the puck to the goal. It goes off of the inside of the Flyers defenseman's skate and through Hart's five hole. That's a goal for Armia assisted by Evans, who made his entrance into the lineup. He replaced Dale Weiss, who was taken out. And Belzeal. Belzeal gets a point in the playoffs, man. That's crazy. Really nice fourth line shift going on over here. By the way, they did move Domi up into the top six, which was a very good decision, mind you, because Domi did have a lot of good looks on this one. But then the third period comes along. It's Jesperi called Kanyemi. He comes in right into the slot, rips a shot. It's past Brian Elliott. That one was assisted by Domi and Mete. Domi just fed him the puck. It looked like it was offside, but Elaine Vigneault didn't bother to challenge that one because, hey, they're already down 5 nothing. It's not like getting a 4 nothing deficit instead is going to change their odds of winning anytime soon. But Carey Price stands on his head for the last few minutes. 30 saves on the night. The Flyers only had six shots in the first period with all six of them coming in the last three minutes. And the Canadians just really did show off that once this team gets going, once this team has its swagger, once they go forward with speed, quick shifts, and an overall tenacity that is hard to match, this team can do things. Sure, I'm not going to say that they're going to win the series here, but it's tied now. Everybody thought that this was at least going to be a sweep, and that if the Canadians won a game or two, it would have been off the back of Carey Price. But this one, even though Carey Price did make 30 saves and he had the shutout, was not off the back of Carey Price. This was off the back of the entire team. This was the entire team coming together, doing their thing, and showing off that they know how to win hockey games, even against the best of the best. So do I expect the Flyers to come out in game number three with a much higher tenacity to their step? Yeah, I absolutely do. But do I expect the Canadians to at least be able to calm the storm and play against it? Yes, I will expect that too. Even game one where the Flyers took a 1-0 lead. That was a 2-1 game that could have been anybody's game. Another bounce and all of a sudden that's a completely different hockey game. So... What I'm going to say here is, even though many people peg the Canadians as the clear out front losers, like me, I said that as well, it's not like the Canadians are going to give the Flyers an easy time to the second round. Because as easy as the Flyers could take over a game, the Canadians can do it too, and they did that over here. Claude Julien is out, which means that there's a lot to prove over here for a brand new coach. And for the most part, guys like Kotkaniemi and Wheel and Tatar, they did just that. This fourth line was amazing. Kotkaniemi looked so good. This is the best we've seen Kotkaniemi play in the past year and a half pretty much. We haven't seen this guy play this lights out since his rookie season. And Thomas Tatar has just awakened inside and now it looks like we have ourselves the best version of Habs hockey we have seen in quite some time. So Philly, look out for game number three. I'm going to do my best to find myself the opportunity to stream it because I really wanted to stream this one. And if I just streamed this game, man, it would have been so good Good. seeing the reactions and watching the whole game unfold in front of my eyes. I mean, I did that right now, but there was no real opportunity for me to enjoy it because I was too busy over here frantically re-downloading softwares to no avail. I still need to get Photoshop, but we'll see what happens later. I hope I can calm down and actually get everything done before the Canucks game finishes up, but I have no promises for you. I hope you enjoyed this Habs recap. So should I troll to 99 and bye. <laughs>